Lesson 9-1, <clears throat> adding and subtracting polynomials. So before we get into that, let's put some de definitions together. What's a monomial? Well, that's one term. Binomial is two terms. Trinomial is three terms. So what do we mean by terms? Well, terms are just simple exponents. So for example, this would be 4x to the third, or 2x, or 3. Any of these would be considered a monomial. Binomial would be 2x squared plus x, or 3x minus 4, or 7x to the fifth plus 2. Those would all be binomials, two terms. Trinomials, three terms. x squared minus 2x plus 1, 7x to the 5th, plus 3x, plus 2. Could be anything, as long as it has three terms. And a polynomial, well, we've just described what polynomials are. They're all of the above. Monomial, binomial, trinomial. <clears throat> you could actually have four or five or six terms, which you'll see every now and then, uh, but they're all polynomials, anything with an exponent. Now, there are certain things that are not polynomials, and we're going to skip down to them. And they're right here. This is not a polynomial because variables in the exponent. Just realize I need this space. And this would not, a poly not be a polynomial because the variable is negative. Pardon me, exponent is negative. No negative exponents. We'll come back to this, get back up top. What is the degree that's the highest exponent? And I'll give you examples on that in a moment. So for the example directly above it, that's a fifth degree polynomial. Only three terms, but that's a five, so we call it a fifth degree. And leading coefficient, that's the number. <clears throat> in front of the highest power. So let's do examples. So which ones are polynomials, which ones aren't? Well, all the other four are polynomials. So this is a binomial. It has a degree, and I will abbreviate, of 2, and the leading coefficient is 9. This is a monomial. It has a degree of 1, which is hidden, and a leading coefficient of 4. This is a trinomial. And it has a degree of 2 and a leading coefficient of 1. This is a little bit of a new language. Why do we do it? You'll have to find out later. Normally, we just say, okay, it's got a leading coefficient of this or a degree of that. When we get into just working with quadratics, we'll talk about all secondary polynomials, things like that. Now, you might look at this and say, no, no, it's not a polynomial. It's got two variables in it. Well, I never said it couldn't have two variables in it. So this is a binomial. And we do it alphabetically. So x is first. So it's in order right now. 9x to the fifth, y to the third, minus 3x squared, y. So put the x with the highest power, 
and then the next x with the highest power. The y's don't really matter. They just come along. Once you get rid of all the x's, if you just had y's, then you'd put those in the proper order too. Might give you some problems like this, might not. So it's a degree of 5 and a leading coefficient of 9. So how do we add them? Let me just line them up. So space the problem out if you can. 2x to the third. And then the next one is minus 5x squared. The next one is plus x. And we should have a plus nothing here. So I'm just going to leave a, a blank because that's where the 1, 2, the, ver the uh, number would go. As in this one has a negative 1. And then we line up the next ones underneath it. Now this should be in order. We'll always put them in order first, but we're not going to get there now. So that's an x third plus 2x squared, minus 1. And then we just add down. 2 plus 1 is 3x to the third. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3x squared, plus x, minus 1. And that's it. There's really no way to check these problems. So you got to make sure you do them right on the first try. Now, subtracting is the same thing, except the first thing you do is change everything. So we're going to make this a plus, and we're going to change all three signs. Was a negative is a plus. Was a plus is a negative. Was a negative, make it a plus. 4n squared plus, should be n to the first, but there's none there. Plus 5, 2n squared minus 2n plus 4. Add them down, 6n n squared minus 2n plus 9. So subtraction, I always do this first. A lot of people think they can just subtract. Remember, you will forget most common mistake made when you go to uh, add or subtract polynomials. So multiplying them, much trickier. Should have done something like this before. I do it this way. I've seen people do it with the boxes which uh, this kind of problem would work with. I don't recommend it. If you want to do it, great, but I'm just not interested. Uh, I just multiply them. 2x to the third times x to the third. Well, 2 times 1 is 2. x to the third times x to the third is x to the sixth. Remember, we add them, the exponents. 2 times 3 is 6. x to the third times x squared is x to the fifth. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. x to the third times x to the first is x to the fourth. 2 times 5 is 10. X to the third comes along for the ride. And that's how we multiply polynomials, also known as distributing. I always say just distribute it. And we've done some of this already, but probably not with an exponential factor in the part we're distributing. This one, a lot of people like to use the word foil. I'm not one of those people. I just like distributing it. So that means do the first pair. Right here, 3 times 1 is 3, x times x is x squared. Do the second pair, uh, the outside ones. x times 2 is 2x. Do the inside ones. Minus 12x. And do the last ones. I don't like to use the word foil. I think it confuses the issue, makes you think that distribution and foiling are two different things. Plus, I don't like the word foil. It's an eighth grade word. But we're not done. Just like we showed before, we have to combine the like terms. 2x minus 12x is negative 10x minus 8. So last one to do. I have to rewrite it because I ran out of space. x squared times x is x to the third. x squared times 2 is plus 2x squared. 2x times x. Now, I like to write these two is 2x squared underneath the other ones. So then it reminds me that I can add them together, plus 4x. This works for some people. It doesn't work for others. Plus x, plus 2. And then I'm adding them all down. x to the third is x to the third. 2 plus 2 is plus 4x squared. 4 plus 1 is plus 5x plus 2. This is tricky stuff. You have to be really good at your exponents, and then you have to remember to write it all out and add them all up properly. Lots of practice on this. You might want to pause the tape, 
try some of these on your own. I'm just going to roll through them pretty quick, show you what the answers are, and then you can check your work. Notice on this last one, these two cancel out. Positive x squared minus x squared is zero. That's it. Lots and lots of practice on this. Have to get good at it, have to get good at it fast. It's just a tool that you use when you do bigger, more complicated project problems later. So make sure you get these right. Good luck.